Hey, look, if you're looking to take any certification, whether it's for cloud or cybersecurity, I want you to really listen to what I'm about to say, okay? It's gonna help you a lot. And this is coming from someone who has a ton of certifications, you know, for various reasons, whether it's for learning purposes or certifications I took during my uh, college program at WGU. Just listen to what I'm about to say in terms of choosing certifications you're gonna take. The first thing you should ask yourself is, what value does it bring to your career, right? Think about the career you want for yourself, whether it's in cybersecurity or in cloud or whatever the case is, does this certification add any value to it, right? 2024 or any year of your life is not the year to waste on a certification or training that does not bring any value to your career. So first things first, does it bring any value to your career? If not, don't take it. Like it's simple as that. Like that, that is like your first weeding out process. You think about a certification, look at a curriculum, look at other people who have taken the certification. What value did it bring to their career? Think about it. Does it bring any value to your cybersecurity or cloud career? If it doesn't, don't take it. Like literally just don't take it. There's no point. Okay. If it brings value to your career, then of course look at it and then, you know, consider if you're going to take it now. Again, you might start thinking, well, how do I determine if this actually brings value to my career? Well, the second question you should ask yourself is, does it teach you hands-on skills? I know that whatever I'm going to say is not going to stop you from taking whatever certification you're going to take, but if you're going to listen to anything, listen to this, right? Gone are the days when things you needed to learn had to be multiple choice based in order to test your knowledge or teach you certain skills. There's so much availability right now of practical training content to learn the skills you want to learn. I personally feel like you're doing yourself a disservice if you go ahead and take any certification that's not going to teach you practical skills. It's going to teach you how to like memorize concepts without actually applying them. Now, I do think that the preliminary and, you know, foundational ones like maybe the A+, plus, Never Plus, Security Plus, I personally still feel like those certifications lay a really strong foundation. But after that, just focus on the practical certifications there's the blue team level one for security operations the ccd for security operations hack the box just released the cdsa for security operations there's several ones from e-learn security of course their legitimacy and the quality is a bit questionable but there's so many resources out there we're looking to learn cloud there's certifications from cloud breach to teach you offensive azure security also to teach you offensive aws security there's certifications from altered security to teach you azure ad security azure security as well um azure application security as well like microsoft does have their certifications and i believe like they're actually even implementing like in in their training programs practical elements to it to help you actually like learn they actually even give you i believe 200 dollars in credit to deploy things in your azure environment and learn the skills you need if you're choosing certifications choose the ones that teach you hands-on skills right if you're going the offensive route there's a pmpt right there is the ejpt as well right there is the oscp as well right there's enough offensive certifications that are practical out there i don't i'm not gonna argue with anyone about the pen test plus or the cyc plus and why they don't provide as much value as the other ones for the almost same price like you could get the pmpt for almost the exact same price as the pen test plus so what is the justification except like wasting money but you know to each their own so again does it teach you hands-on skills now the third question i want you to ask yourself is how do you plan to use it in your career, right? It's great if you're working in security operations, let's say as an analyst or a responder, or whatever the case is, and you wanna learn offensive security just to understand the attacker mindset. So you decide to go take the PMPT or decide to go take the OSCP, right? Whatever the case may be, I understand that. But how do you plan to apply it in your career, right? Do you plan to move into a role that's like more purple team focused? Do you plan to spend enough time outside of your work hours practicing offensive skills to learn how to triage and respond to them on the defensive side? If you're not going to apply those skills, you might be wasting your time. Now, I know this is a bit controversial because you might think, oh, I will just learn the skill for later. I understand that. And that's also a good point. But if you're not going to immediately apply those skills, you will lose them. Like, and you would lose them pretty fast if you're not applying them constantly or refreshing them constantly. So figure out a way by which you can continuously apply the skills you will learn from this certification into your daily 
routine your daily you know whatever the case may be i forgot to mention too like even in the security operation side in regards to certifications there's like the new practical malware analysis you know certification from e-learn security uh if you want to go like the dev devops route or the devsecops route there is like devsecops institute or so i don't remember where it is i'll leave a link to it in the description as well as like a link to their page on the screen as well like they have like practical devops and devsecops certifications as well so Again, to my previous point, there are specific things that you should not be doing in regards to certifications if you have practical alternatives. The final question I want you to ask yourself is, are there any alternatives that can get you further faster, right? I like to think that you can go further, faster, safely, and smartly, right? You don't have to rush things, but certain things can get you to where you want to be faster than some other things because they actually make sense because if you go the other route of maybe say non-practical certifications they're going to take you to the same destination but maybe in a much lower manner but if you go through the more practical certifications or training programs right they will teach you similar skills help you actually apply them it might take you a bit longer because it's practical you have to do it but you will get to your destination faster because you have the skills and you can always speak to them and apply them in real world scenarios so i want you to think right is there anything is there any certification or training program or project or lab can take me further faster right rather than say for example the cysa plus right maybe i should take the ccd from cyber defenders or the blue team level one from security blue team or the uh cdsa from hack the box right they all lead you towards the same destination but these ones on the other side that are more practical will get you there faster than cysa plus which will not right so i really need you to like sit down and think of these things and ask yourself these questions so that you're making the right decision when it comes to your career when it comes to choosing certifications when it comes to spending your hard earned money on things that are supposed to teach you the skills you need to get the roles you want and build a career you want for yourself thanks for watching this video please be sure to like subscribe subscribe to my newsletter in the description join the discord in the description check out my linkedin learning course in the description all that fun stuff but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye